Hey guys, welcome back to She Knows. We are here with the beautiful and talented Maria Menounos. Hello. Hi. And we are also on the set of Extra. This is a sweet gig. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. So starting, you know, from Channel One, which I have seen and used to watch in high school. Did you? Yeah, I did. When I was on? Yeah. Oh, I love it. It's awesome. And then, um, you know, to interviewing the Obamas, like you said mm -hmm. earlier, what, what has been, you know, have you ever had that moment where you're like, I made it, like this is just huge? Hmm. It could have probably been interviewing them. Does it get bigger than that? It doesn't get bigger than that, yeah. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> um, especially since it was a historic election. And I mean, I think for me, the second I got to move to LA and had a job on camera, I felt like, okay, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I did it. Yeah. Um, and that was with Channel One. But like the real moment probably was when I got my first job at Entertainment Tonight. Okay. Very cool. You know, it's like I dreamed of working there my whole life, and there I was. And, and what did your extremely cute dad do? Was he so excited? Oh yeah, my parents were beside themselves. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, At every moment, they always are. And they're like, Mario, we can't believe the things that happen already. <laughs> you can't explain to us to know what's happening now. Because like, I'll call them and be like, hey, guess what's happening? I just got this new deal. This is happening. Mario, we don't even understand the things that happen already. <laughs> and they're like, they just are like, you know, they don't understand yeah. because to them it's just like so one that. big dream yeah. which it is to me too that is great so um you've worked with mario lopez for a long time mm -hmm. um we have to ask what has been the most embarrassing thing you guys have shared together whether it be like a slip up on set or he totally ate it or you have many years of potential embarrassing stories. i could say some really embarrassing things right now now it's your time well I don't know if I can admit this, but I did buy some flatulence um, diapers okay. that I found online. And I'm not saying they're for him, but Is it like I the delivered them to him in his camp because there were some issues around <laughs> here. And so you can ask him who okay. the culprit is, but I gave them to him. <laughs> we'll do a follow-up story on Mario's fart underwear. <laughs> is, that, is that about right? Okay. I'll be talking and to him. And then for me, I think it would have to be my ever-present garlic breath, which Billy Bush used to be very um, bummed out about sometimes. Like, you and the freaking red onions and the garlic. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm just trying to be healthy. Yeah, wait, what's wrong with that? Yeah. It's okay, that's what gums for. <laughs> you have so much going on, including a new book coming out June mm -hmm. 3rd. Um, tell us a little bit about that and what fans can expect from your new book. Well, it's a follow-up to my first book, The Every Girl's Guide to Life, right. which um, was a guide for women of all ages to do everything better, faster, cheaper, how to live a simpler, healthier life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, having lost 40 pounds um, years ago, I did write a chapter in that book about weight loss, mm -hmm. but I couldn't really say everything I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. And so this book chronicles the 40 pound weight loss journey from start to finish, every little teeny thing I did. Wow. And then how I maintain the weight loss and then the different health journeys I've had since then because my body has just, you know, continued to change and, and my health has continued to change since then. And so I wanted to help women who didn't have time, didn't have money, mm -hmm to figure out a way to lose weight like I did because I didn't have that. Right. And even now that I do, I use the same things that I talk about in this book. Okay. So, you know, I, I have tons and tons of tips. And the other thing is, just like the first book, it's not that I'm an expert. Mm -hmm. I just, I am that every girl that was 40 pounds heavier, that had to lose the weight, that didn't have time and didn't have money. Mm -hmm. But also now, I'm exposed to so many experts from all over the world. I've been right. interviewing people for 14 years yeah. that I've been able to take mm -hmm. great tips from everybody, put them to use, and be like, ooh, this one works. I like this. Wow. And then share it in the book with everybody. That's extremely unique. That's great. Cool, right? Yeah, it is. Um, I have to ask, what? how do you feel about like, juicing diets and juicing cleanses? Do you think that's a method to lose weight? This is just totally... I think anything extreme is not that smart. Okay. I, I had um, an osteopath give me a liver detox to do. Okay. And I did it the first day because I did the one smoothie in the morning. It was like a garlic and olive oil and lemon and whatever. Great breath all day. I stunk here at Extra oh, for days. But um, <laughs> if it's for a health thing, like if you need to like clean out like your liver or something like mm -hmm. that, fine. But not for dieting. Right. Because you're gonna go back to eating regular food at some point. Mm -hmm. 
and it's not um, it's just not a sustainable way to lose weight so I know like I have really good friends that go to those retreats and they don't let you eat anything and you go on 20-hour hikes mm -hmm. and all that and I'm like well that's great but what you're doing is you're depriving yourself and you're only gonna go crazy when you get back right and I watch them they yo-yo yeah and probably alienated a ton of friends on the way <laughs> you're just so grumpy when you're hungry yeah like I think that taking a long-term approach to it is the smartest way to do it because it won't come back mm -hmm. I'm living proof I did it and you know you you really just want to make small little replacements I'm very much about just making little changes that over time get easier and then you put another little change in and okay. another little change like right now I was 10 days sugar sober I was like I'm gonna cut out sugar for a while and I had my best friend came into town she's like I really wanted ice cream I'm like fine I have it Okay. But it doesn't mean I'm going to fall off the wagon and just, right. you know, yeah. eat sugar every day now. Now I'm like, okay, I'm back on the no sugar thing until the next moment when right. I have it. But at least I'm trying to curb it throughout the the majority of my life. Right. But I wasn't going to go gluten-free, sugar-free, and do all this stuff at once because mm -hmm. it's too extreme. It's too hard to do and you still no matter have a how life. much willpower you have. Right. Right. You have to enjoy some of those things totally. from time to time. Absolutely. You go crazy. So... Switching gears slightly. Um, and the biggest tip, by the way, is your steps. 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 As in walking? Yes. I have big, big feet. Get your steps. How, Me does, too. That, how does that work <laughs> out? Like, no, it's posture? like. Posture? No, no, no. No. Um, Harley Pasternak, trainer to the stars, told me um, about a year ago. He goes, You know, if you're getting your 10,000 steps a day, you're golden. And I said, well, I don't know how many steps I take. So I got one of those Fitbits. I and I said to myself, you know, and this was a, as I was writing the book, I said, I bet you anything, the reason why I'm able to eat what I want and not really stress about it and not have it really stick is because I'm a human, like, rocket ship. Right. You know, I'm always moving, I'm always at top speed. You can't even catch me. And so I put on the Fitbit, and for one week, and I actually put the statistics in the book, I was getting 12,000 steps one day, 18,000 another. I was burning more than I was eating, which is just my normal daily life. So if you're getting your steps, if you're getting 10,000 steps, and you're trying to make healthy choices throughout your day, you're going to be fine. I don't have to go to the gym and be a slave every single day. Right. So. Okay, that's really great to know. I will be purchasing one of those very soon. I'm telling you, it makes such a difference because you can also monitor. So, like, if at the end of the day you're at 8,000 steps, uh -huh. you're like, all right, well... It's not like you have to go run. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm telling you to go do, you know, this crazy workout at the gym. Just go for a walk with your dog at the end of the night. Get yeah. your steps and then go home. Yeah. It's so easy. Life-changing. Yeah. This is great. This is great. <laughs> well, hopefully you will find yeah. the book life-changing. Yeah, and I it's will. available for pre-order right now on Amazon and Barnes & Noble and wherever books are sold. Very good. And comes out June 3rd. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. There you have it. Maria Menounos, thank you so much for of having course, us. Of course, thank you. Make sure to check out her season finale on Oxygen, Tuesdays at 10, Chasing Maria Menounos, and her new book out June 3rd. The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness, available for pre-order on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. Woohoo! <laughs> Keep checking back for more entertainment news. Thanks, guys.